for this next video, I'm going to build a very basic iPhone application to get you started with launching apps. And again, this is Greg speaking, and this is Lane, who is learning iPhone programming. And Lane is uh, super enthusiastic and loves programming, just wants to get started. And I'll I'll show you now, Lane, the uh, the application. So all it's going to be is it's going to be an iPhone application screen that's light gray in the background and hello world label. All right, let's let's do it. Uh, so as I talked about before. You've already downloaded Lane Xcode, and you've got Xcode there installed on your machine, and you're now going to launch Xcode for the very first time. So I'll go ahead and launch it. There's Xcode getting started, and here we have our welcome screen, and we're going to create a new project. So we go up to File, New, Project. And that launches our very first Xcode project. You can see my screen OK, Lane, right? OK. All right. So now, again, it's going to be this light gray background, and it says, hello, world. So this is the project template area. So we can choose a template for a project. And what we want here is just a very simple application, a single view application. So we choose single view application. And this is within the application um, area. Th these down here, this is iOS, or I mean, OS X, um, uh, other stuff that you don't care about. What you care about is this application within the iOS. We choose single view application and press next. And at this point, we uh, we can just say, you know, simple app. And then what we want, we're not going to be using storyboards at this point, and it's going to be an iPhone application. And we use automatic reference counting, because when we use the automatic reference counting, we don't need to worry about freeing up memory. And that's just a headache. So we then press Next. And this is... Uh, simply choosing the uh, location for the the app. Now, here, here we have uh, the, uh, the starting point for our application. This is uh, the most important file that we care about at this point. It's the nib file, file or the zip file. It's basically the user interface file. And this is where we're going to drag on our uh, Hello World label. Now, you might have a lot of questions at this point. Like, what what's all going on with these different icons and different panels and these buttons up here? Uh, what, what are these files about? So you'll see that there's this app delegate and a view controller. And that probably seems very confusing for you. And, and the supporting files, main.m. Well, I'll, I'll be talking more about that. But, but at this point, let me just briefly say that, that this simple app is your, uh, the root of your application. And the, the project simple app this is the navigation panel. So, so within this folder are the files you need for your application. And if you if you want to see uh, where that where that corresponds to um, in the uh, the actual file system, it it's slightly different. And I'll show you what that looks like. Let me let me pull it up. Um, Simple app. Okay, so this this is 
the project and the file structure in in the file system. So you'll, you'll notice actually there's not a supporting files folder. Xcode knows how to cluster the files a bit differently. So it doesn't represent exactly what's going on on the file system. But you have similar files here, like the appdelegate.h, appdelegate.m, and <clears throat> main.m, view controller. And so we're going to be concentrating on what's going on in the navigation uh, <clears throat> uh, panel here in Xcode. And for now, let's just ignore this stuff. I'll be I'll be talking more about what's going on in these files later. But for for the the moment, let's just leave it at. Hey, this is a um, Objective C program. Every Objective C program starts out with this main function, and it it runs UI application main uh, like method. And, and that gets the application going. And to tell you the truth, I don't totally understand what all is happening. But basically, main launches the app. And it calls the uh, UI application main. And then app delegate is, is sort of a object that gets launched and then view controller is a subset uh, where, where where basically the app delegate is causing the view controller to instantiate and you can see that here in the application did finish launch launching a method where where the view controller is allocated space for the view controller is created there on the machine or on the iPhone and then it's made visible so all 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 the applications are views built on top of this UI window so honestly you can ignore a lot of that stuff and still make a lot of progress so for now just just ignore that and we'll be we'll talk we'll be talking further about how that's all working but here we are on that user interface file the the nib or the zib um, view controller dot zib nib and in order to create that first application that we can see here this hello world application we've already got this gray background screen now, if we didn't like that color, we could actually go to the Attributes Inspector and change it, like to say white or to dark gray color, or even that interesting scroll view pattern. But we'll go ahead and leave it on the light gray. And all we simply want to do is make a hello world application so we drag a label onto the main screen so you see there there are these guidelines that help us figure out where the center is um there this goes straight in the center but we're going to have it up there a bit and then we can double click here or tap on that label and start changing the text here we'll go ahead and double click it right there and we just say hello world enter there we, we've done it um, I'm gonna go ahead and make the font a bit bigger so we'll, we'll just make that font bigger. now you notice it started to truncate some of the text on the uh, the label so we're gonna expand it hello world and it seems it may be slightly off center, so we're going to center the text using the attribute inspector alignment centered. And now we have a application that says "Hello World." And just to see that it's really working and running, we're going to run it in the simulator. So 
what we do is we make sure that this the um, this bar up here isn't on device or iPad simulator, but it's on iPhone simulator. And I'm running Xcode, uh, just for background, I'm running Xcode version 4.6. And the latest iOS version, 6.1. And what we do is we press this run button in order to start the simulator. <clears throat> And it builds the project and launches the, the simulator as soon as it wakes up enough. Oh, there it is. Ah, there. Hello world. Okay, I'll I'll just I'll just go ahead and close that down. Maybe it'll pop up again. Yeah, there, hello world. This is our hello world application. So we've done it. We've made our very first application. Now you probably have a lot of questions about what's really going on in the code. How's this project really working? And I know it's confusing, um, but you need to just roll with it for the moment and, and learn a few simple operations to get see how things get going, and uh, and not get overwhelmed by some of these terminologies and, and, and dynamics going on in the Xcode. So this, this concludes the very first film, and I hope you'll keep watching, and we'll continue to build on top of our Xcode knowledge and figure out how to do simple interactions and, and some iPhone coding.